Are you getting frustrated about your online pole dancing training? Do you feel like you're wasting so much time during your pole workouts at home? Or maybe you're just starting and don't know where to begin? Well, let me help you by sharing my eight top tips on learning pole dancing from home. This is Kasia from exoticacademy.com, an online exotic pole and floor work school. Tip number one, probably the most obvious, which is safety. These viral videos of people falling off with the pole, smashing windows, are pretty funny to watch. But they are not so funny to participate in. So please make sure you install your pole correctly, your hoop, silks, whatever equipment you're using, so you won't be part of those viral videos. Tip number two, plan your session ahead. So unless you are taking part in a fully structured live class, it's best to pick your tutorials, the moves you wanna go through beforehand. So then you wanna spend 10 minutes browsing okay maybe this one maybe this one no if you start browsing after you warm up 10 minutes later you're still not sure what you want to do and you're already cooling down and the second reason is that you want to adjust your warm-up according to what you're planning to do so for example if you're planning to do some bending moves it's probably a good idea to you know warm up your back a little bit more and also have a plan B just in case the choreography or move that you wanted to learn are a bit more difficult than you anticipated then you won't get frustrated and you know drop midway you just have an alternative thing to do tip number three eliminate your distractions send your boyfriend away lock your kids in a basement Turn off your notifications, lock your social media app. It's really easy when you're training by yourself and you have some mobile devices near you to go from tutorial that you're watching to, oh, I'm going to check my email. Oh, Sharon is having a baby. Oh, what a funny cat video. Aww. And then 10 minutes later, you're cooling down and your motivation is down as well. What about if you try to learn this move you saw on Instagram? Well, that's very dangerous. I would highly recommend to, I don't know, screenshot it, take it away from the platform somehow so you can come back to it without using social media. And we're coming on to the next tip, which is warm up. You can either warm up by yourself or use one of the pre recorded ready warm ups, like at exoticacademy.com. Please remember that you are the one who knows your body the best. If something's still not feeling quite warm enough, then you can always add some extra exercises to make sure your body is prepared for the workout ahead. And that's not only down to the online training, it's also in a normal studio setup. Don't be afraid to add something extra or in the middle of the session, if you feel like you cool down a little bit or something feeling quite stiff. Tip number five, I think, which is recording. When you're training online, there is no one next to you that is going to correct you. You are the one who is responsible for your own progress and corrections. That's why mirror and recording device are going to be your best friend. And that's a great tip, not only for online training even if you practice in the studio i would say with full fitness the instructor available advice easy to comprehend and easy to explain but with exotic pole dancing it's quite difficult to verbally explain some moves and in the end of the day what you get in a face-to-face -face class it's still going to be mainly visual explanation from the teacher similar to as it would be in online video. So for both online and normal conventional training, recording yourself is super beneficial, even if you may not like what you see at first. Next tip, I lost count now. Cool down, perfect time to throw in some passive stretches. And for those of you who like exotic pole, this is a good time to stretch your feet a little bit after wearing heels. Tip number seven, I think. Give yourself a credit for doing your training. You chose to move your beautiful ass instead of sitting on a sofa. So you should be proud of yourself and happy about yourself. And tip number eight. Now is the time to go on your sofa and watch the videos that you've recorded. You can analyze them a bit more thoroughly. You can post some stuff on social if that's what you like. And you can take notes. I don't mean physical notes. I mean, you know, just kind of reflect on what went well, what you want to practice in the next session. That's better. And that is going to save you time next time. Save you time next time.
So please do let me know in the comments if these tips were helpful, if they improved your workout and lower down your frustration levels. And don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.